my daddy raised me on the water, raised me in the woods. Other than picking a banjer, I guess if I had my choice, that's all I'd do, lay around on the river. But what you find him on in the river may surprise you. It's a little tin tar paper shack built, built on the water. Well, they say they didn't know Beverly Hillbillies had a home on the water. <laughs> so we joined Lardo and his good friend Burley to see what life on the Kentucky River is all about. Yeah, it kind of draws attention going down the river. Especially when they have a river cleanup day. Got to get it away from my limbs pretty quick and tear my stovepipe off. I don't know, I guess it took me all in all two, three months. I told Burley when I first got it done, I said, look at it, she's all mine and handmade. He said, it looks like you made it with your feet to me. Two beds, a table, and heat and stove. And then we got right here, we got all the modern conveniences indoor outhouse here. Well, this right here is where we catch the fish. In winter time, we can get it up. And sometimes I told you. I told you. I told you. Why are you going to be like that? Now, are you scared of snakes? No. <laughs> I'm just quick. Something about the smell of coffee perking and, and coal oil lamps burning just reminds me of when I was a kid. And, and I it just, I can come down here and turn the radio on, light a coal oil lantern, build a fire in the stove, and listen to the Grand Ole Opera on a Saturday night. And man, I'm telling you, it makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> when Lardo's not exploring the river, he's with Burley playing a little banjo. beans and peppers, you got popcorn, sugar, beets. We had some government cheese, but we eat it right before y'all got here. <laughs> you know you're a redneck when you slice your mater and onion baloney up with the same knife you just feel the rest of deer. If we'd had a baloney during the Civil War, we'd won. Somebody check back there and make sure the pilot is awake. And don't fall in that old river. Daddy run over you before we can make him here. Yeah, we we actually twins. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, we are. And when Daddy seen us laying there, little babies, for the first time, he told Mama, he said, you're going to have to drown that ugly one. That's how come he learned to swim before I did. But uh, I told him learn, learning to swim wasn't too tough. Getting out of that burlap bag was a trick. <laughs> Them concrete blocks is heavy. We play for fun, mostly, because if we uh, wanted to own our own house, we'd get into country music or something else, but bluegrass ain't no money in it much. <laughs> so we play around uh, all the major festivals in, in Kentucky, and uh, we've got three albums out, and uh, now that Burley's retired, we're kind of broadening Horizons a little bit. I wrote him on his banjo and he wrote him on my guitar. He writes pretty good. He can forge just about anybody's name. Living on the river, you can come down here and get off to yourself in this in this little shanty boat here and your mind is just I don't know, it just frees your mind up and you you can sit here, there ain't a whole lot else to do but write songs and look at nature and Bring a banjo or fiddle or guitar down here and you can you can do some songwriting. Yeah, Uncle Billy Pat, you old ever rowdy ever gonna settle down. We ever get married, we ever take a job, or are you ever gonna move away to town? Ho! Oh! Well, I mean, we're on a shanty boat. But while these guys were playing and singing, I'm looking up and seeing fishing poles. So I mean what's the fella gonna do? He's got he got at least try it. I know there's catfish in here. I caught one on the jingle line down here. He weighed 88 pounds, caught him on a baby rabbit, hooked in the nap of the neck on a jingle line. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And Lotto just happened to have some green worms. Yeah. So what's a man gonna do? I like river fishing because you never know. 
I don't know. You never, it's kind of like fishing in the ocean. You never know. It's we're uh, we're going to get one here in a minute. Drum. Sucker. Yeah, he got a good fish hook. It's channel cat. All right. We about two pounds. It's an eater. Now that's perfect size to eat right there. Yes, sir. Any fish you bite, if you got good bait, here's a little something I'd like to relate. When it comes to biting, the fish won't wait. I'm a going fishing, everybody fishing, I'm a going fishing too. That was a buffalo, and actually they're not too bad to eat, they're a little bony. The, the meat is very sweet and delicious. Like he said, it's got a little, a lot of little hair bone in it, but there's ways to get around that. I don't know what they are. But that's one of those river fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. You can catch a drum, you can catch a carp, you can catch a sucker. That was a buffalo. Oh, blow it, Wendy. Did you say you seen a man on TV the other day blowing two of these at the same time? Yeah, playing two harmonica at the same time. With his mouth? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Diagon, he got it made, ain't he? Come down here and go up and down the river and fish and hunt and sleep. Yeah. That's what a good government job would do for you. This harmonica smells like green worms. For some reason or another. And I got them deep river blues. But that's basically about it. Two beds, a table, and, and it's mobile. We can take her up and down the river we're going to. Hehehehe <laughs>